Hello, my name is Maggie Yowell Wilson, and I am the Director of Faith Formation for Children and Families at St. James Parish in Kent, Washington. And I'm also a drama and expressive arts therapist and mental health counselor for Owls Well Counseling. And right now during this time, I'm, I'm doing my counseling by teletherapy right here in my art studio office that I've set up. So today I'm going to share a book called Breathe and Be. And this is a book of mindfulness poems by Kate Coombs. And it's illustrated really beautifully by Anna Amelia Leitinen. I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, mindfulness is a practice that I often teach to my clients, and it helps with anxiety and depression and any time that we're just wanting to calm down. And it's a really good practice. And some forms of mindfulness involve imagining that you are in a safe space or some place that is peaceful to you. And so a lot of these poems do just that. So here we go. Breathe and be. I really love the end papers in this book, so I thought I'd show them to you. Really pretty flowers. Okay. And at the beginning, there's a little dedication that says, the trees are the lungs of this planet Earth. Let's take care of them so they breathe for us. I think that's a really beautiful thought in this time where so many people are having difficulty breathing. Okay, here we go. I breathe slowly in. I breathe slowly out. My breath is a river of peace. I am here in the world. Each moment I can breathe and be. What am I thinking? What comes and goes in my mind? I watch my thoughts. They swim by like little fish. They shine blue, green, red, yellow. There's a quiet place in my head, like an egg hidden in a nest. A place I go when the world is loud. A moss green forest with birds. I see the world new. My friends with bright sneakers, the fresh smell of grass, a line of ants winding by. I see each for the first time. Sometimes I'm a cloud, sometimes a mountain or a stone, sometimes a river, a small seed or a great tree, but I am always me. When days crash thunder and throw lightning around, I am still watching. I am a calm umbrella inside the blue and gray storm. Sometimes that storm might be anger or fear that you feel. How I rush, rush, rush 
Thoughts flutter and dart like birds. Slow down, thoughts. Come quietly with me. There is time to breathe and be. Perhaps right now that's what we're being asked to do is to slow down and, and breathe and, and be. Some days I bark and snap like a little dog. Instead, I will be a tree. Leaves, branches, roots, patient in summer, in fall, winter, spring. I watch the stream. Each thought is a floating leaf. One leaf is worry. Another leaf is sadness. The leaves drift softly away. All our feelings come and then they go. I see myself by the ocean, toes touching sand, fingers finding a shell at the edge of blue water. Where is your quiet place? When I ask my clients to find their safe, quiet place, many of them are beside the water. Tomorrow is an egg that hasn't hatched. Yesterday is a bird that has flown. But today is real. Here, now, this minute, the true wings. The caterpillar and the tadpole are becoming something more, and I am becoming more me, my heart filling up with it. My feet touch earth. My hands touch tall grasses. My face touches sky. I run through the morning. I am alive in this world. I breathe slowly in. I breathe slowly out. My breath is a pathway of peace moving softly through me. Each day I can breathe and be. I like that this book also talks a little bit about mindfulness at the end. And so I thought I would just read this to you so you understand a little bit about mindfulness. Mindfulness is an idea that comes from Buddhism, a religion based on the teachings of Gautama Buddha, who was born in India around 500 BC. Buddhism is practiced throughout Asia and also has given rise to many meditation practices in the Western world. The poems about mindfulness in this book that I just read are written using a Japanese poetry form called tanka, an earlier version of the well-known haiku. A tanka has five lines, which in English are often divided into syllables of five, seven, five, seven, seven. However, poets sometimes write them more broadly in a pattern of five lines that are short, long, short, long, 
love. Maybe you can try to write a tanka of your own. So there are a number of ways that you can learn more about mindfulness. There is uh, some great books by John Kabat-Zinn, who's the creator of mindfulness-based stress reduction, and Thich Nhat Hanh, the Buddhist monk and peace activist. Kabat-Zinn has defined mindfulness as the awareness that arises through paying attention on purpose in the present moment and non-judgmentally. He's also said, it's about living your life, life as if it really mattered, moment by moment, by moment, by moment. And then Thich Nhat Hanh explains that mindfulness is the miracle which can call back in a flash our dispersed mind and restore it to wholeness so that we can live each minute of life. In many ways, mindfulness is like a prayer. So I hope you enjoyed the book, Breathe and Be, and I hope that you are doing well, breathing and being wherever you are.